I'm whipping air, and I'm going to show you a new product from LaRue Tactical called the Riser. And that's this right here. As you can see, this is a cheek riser. That's why they call it the riser. It's R-I-S-R -S -S rather than R-I-S-E-R. -S and this right here is a cheek riser for the MOE, well, Magpul MOE buttstock or the CTR buttstock. Uh, but here's the issue and the reason why they developed it. If you, and this right here, by the way, is the AR-57 and it shoots a 5.7 and it's not an issue on this rifle at all because this is a side charging rifle but if you have a rifle with a cheek riser on it if you want to get a, a good uh, be able to see the, the you know, scope really nice and clear without moving around or anything like that you've got your little cheek rest here but if you have a cheek rest that is adjusted right to the right size which you know you can drop this down just a little bit what happens is when you charge the weapon with a regular charging handle, remember this is side charging, when you charge your weapon, you'll have just enough room to charge it in the fully open position. But if you were to drop it down just a little bit, what happens is you try to charge a weapon and this right here blocks the way. With this being in the way, and it's like I said, it's, if you could have this a little bit higher or a little bit lower, it might not be an issue but in this position or if you're not paying attention you can accidentally block the charging handle which would prevent you from charging the weapon and if you are in a, a situation where you have to have that weapon to fire that could be a problem and you probably won't have enough time to you know, fully pull back the, the bolt or the, <laughs> the buttstock um, so what they did is they developed the riser and the riser is built so you can have the stock all the way out and it's not going to be any issue because when you pull back the charging handle it doesn't hit but if you move your stock forward and lock it in position this is not fully collapsed this right here would probably be a common position for a lot of people if you were to charge the weapon what happens is the, the cheek rest actually moves out of the way and it does that quite easily close that because this is under a spring it's got a nice amount of spring pressure here so this once you charge the weapon this cheek piece is going to it's going to move back out of the way and allow you to fully charge the weapon and when you put the charging handle forward it's going to go forward again for you to go ahead and get a, a nice grip on the cheek again so it does exactly as it's advertised it is a phenomenal piece of work yet so extremely simple um, it's extremely tough just because it's got a spring under here does not mean it's weak I mean this this right here can really take some abuse. Uh, you could take a hammer to it and it's not going to hurt it at all. Uh, it's very simple to install. You have a total of eight screws on here, which means you've got two here, two here, two here, two here. And to install it, you just remove your buttstock. And then on the inside, there's two little slots. Well, what they did is they, they have a little metal bar that's got threaded holes for these screws. And you take that metal bar and you place it on the inside in that little area. And then you take this and you place it on top and you just start threading in, uh, screwing in your screws and you're basically done. It only takes a couple minutes. Um, if I were to give any tips on that, I would say use a little bit of, uh, of the very weak Loctite, you know, the, the blue Loctite. Make sure it's you know, the, something that's not going to really lock it down so you never have to remove it again. But you know, if you're going to be relying on this or you don't want to worry about it ever coming off uh, unintendedly well i would probably go ahead and put just a little bit of loctite on there not don't overdo it just enough just enough to go ahead and kind of lock it in place that way these screws don't work loose on you and you end up losing one in the field um, i've worked with this a, a month now and i have nothing but positive things to say about it it really is that easy 
it does provide me with a really good view of this rear sight. This is that uh, GG and G, and this has the bullet drop compensating sight on it. So with my cheek on the cheek rest and looking right in, I got like a perfect view looking through this rear sight, which is good because you know if, if I have this down lower and if I need to charge the weapon, I can go ahead and pull that back, and this this whole cheek piece is going to move back and out of the way. It's a really nicely designed system. I mean, there, there's not a whole lot of complexity here. It's got one spring, uh, one spring, and you've got eight eight screws that's holding the thing on. Um, it, I've had no problems with it collecting debris. It has a strong enough spring in here that if you get dirt or debris in there, it's going to go ahead and close anyway. I mean, it's, it's got a good amount of spring pressure, and it's pretty much a self-cleaning design. Um, Let's see, you got to remember what, what all this is made up of. The, the plastic here, this is a glass reinforced polymer, which is basically the same thing a lot of these stocks are. Uh, it's made in the USA, matter of fact, it's made in Texas. And this is a reciprocating inline stock riser, that's what the actual name is. And I have, I've had you know, no issues with it, no problems. There's no quality control issues at all. It's, it's a little root product. You're not going to have any quality issues with it. Um, now, I do. I wish they wouldn't have put it on. Mm, I, I absolutely like it. There's nothing that I don't like about it. It's just that easy. It's not an easy thing to remove um, because you have to unscrew all the screws. But I can't think of any reason you'd want to remove it. Um, I mean, if you wanted to have something that easy to go ahead and remove, just buy another MOE buttstock and just remove the butt so that I can throw on the one without it. Um, what else? Uh, I, I mentioned that this works on the MOE and the CTR. Uh, so the Magpul, basically, the, most, most of the typical Magpul stocks this works on. Um, that's basically it. It's just it's such a simple item to use and it just alleviates the problem where you cannot charge your weapon from the stock being too too close and remember being too close could mean just that far that's enough to go ahead and get in the way if you have any kind of specific kind of riser on there this allows you to have a a cheek rest on your buttstock and still not have any problem with not being able to charge the weapon because of the reciprocating cheek piece so if you have any comments or questions feel free to leave it below don't forget to subscribe don't forget to rate my videos I'm Weaponeer and I'll catch you in the next one.